the oh person my. in control in this house. Paddy, roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Good boy! Good boy! You did it, didn't you? At the other end of the playground are the kids who rebel against authority. <laughs> Dear 37, last night Bubble became the fourth person to be evicted from the Big Brother house. Paul survived the public vote for the third time. Last to think about in this place. Oh yes, too much. After yesterday, loads. Yeah. Excuse me. Take your tea with you. 11.09 a.m. Elizabeth is cooking pancakes for breakfast. <laughs> well, Amma, you have this one then. This was Dean's, but he's gone now. So I'll just um, leave it. Leave it's it. all right, it might not be in there. If you could just leave mine aside for Yeah, me. I'm going to. Last week, Dean asked Big Brother for a vacuum cleaner. Is it a task already? That's good, mate. Oh, yeah, let's have a go. That's have a go. It's a nice one as well. Mate, is that's really Let's have a good. go. The only reason they've given us that is so far look dirty on TV. Surprise. Bargain. Surprised, actually. Yeah. Mind you, it's not electric, is it? Did you ask for it, Dean? What a nice present. Did you ask for it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's physical. <laughs> Well, it is pretty physical. Yeah, it'll knock you out, I will. Back into it. My dream has come true in a way. I dropped me out a hoover about a pink one. You see, you've, you've got a black and grey carpet sweeper. Mm. It's quite close. Quite close. Oh, it is chilly. Isn't it, when it goes mm. in? Yeah. This is Big Brother. Could Paul please come to the diary room? Paul could. How are you today, Paul? I just think I was in a state of shock, really. I honestly thought I was going last night. There's no doubt about that. I really did. You know, everyone knew that Bubble was here. He was a very, very loud character, very, very funny, very, very this, very, very that. So I thought, you know, that in a way he's sort of got to be the favourite for staying from that point of view, um, because, you know, he's a very funny guy, but you've got to realise that being in here is a lot more than that. You know, I'm expecting a big, big change, the fact that the bubble's gone. Um, I think, in a way, it might be a good one. It might be good, to, um, and you might see di maybe different sides of people here. Uh, bubble was someone who could possibly suppress other people's personalities. Um, whether he'd done that knowingly or whatever, was a different thing, but you know, because he was so loud, and that is just a loud person in general, they can suppress other people. So the fact that he's gone, maybe you might see changes in people, who knows. Bubble's nomination affected the house like no other. It was a bolt from the blue, and the housemate's shock was obvious. They sit motionless, unable to take it in. Elizabeth removes her glasses, as if to get a clearer view of the world. Fucking hell, mate, I didn't see that coming. Told you. Up to now, nominations and evictions have been predictable, and the reason for this is that there's a direct correlation between evictions and bitching. Bitching is talking negatively about someone behind their back. I don't think he's doing anything on purpose, but he is a hit to win. Yes, he is a to win. We've actually carried out a statistical analysis of the role that it plays in the house. Each time so far, 
It's been the person who's bitched about most, or who's done most of the bitching, who's been evicted. That's, are they going up against me? They pick on you sometimes. Yeah. In the weeks immediately before their evictions, both Penny and Stuart were the target of over one third of the bitching. While she was in the house, Narinda was responsible for almost two thirds of the bitching that occurred. Bitching has the function of spreading views around the house and enabling the housemates to understand how everyone else feels. That's why when it comes to nominations, there are usually no surprises. You okay? Yes, ma'am. Are you sure? Yeah. Bubbles' nomination is very different sure okay? because he rarely bitches. He's also really seldom nice. bitched about. Dean, for example, has never heard a single complaint about Bubble. Without bitching as a cue, those who didn't nominate Bubble just don't know why it happened. The fourth person to be evicted from the Big Brother house will be... Bubble. Oh my God. Paul, you're low. God! Coming on, baby. Their paranoia has been reinforced by the realization that the public don't want bubble either. Just... When it comes to nominations, you're like, don't people see and hear what I yeah. hear? You know, or I, I end up getting paranoid about going, maybe I'm wrong. This is a key moment because for the first time, the housemates don't really know what's going to happen next. I'm thinking if it's so different out there. That's what I meant. If they're voting That's so I differently, you know, so I, well, I, I might as well go now. You know, I predict that in the next few days we're going to see an upsurge in bitching as the housemates try to come to terms with this confusion. 12.15 pm. The group are discussing the tennis player Anna Kornikova. Because for me, she is my ideal. But then if you think about it... Do you know what I mean? That's what I'm world. saying is everyone's so different. Oh, yeah, but I think, you know, aesthetically, physically, her face, the way her face so is, I don't think she's a, pretty, a beautiful, beautiful girl. No, I don't think she's beautiful. But I must admit, I, I mean, when she, play, she plays tennis and out, I, Sorry, I think darling. that she's really attractive because she is fit. As in, do you know what I mean? I see that as it's quite an attractive quality, a woman playing sport. And so I think she's just lo lovely as well. Yeah. She shaved her head off, would you find attractive? Shaved her head oh, off. Oh, I don't know. Hair off. I don't. I mm. doubt it. Is so, it just a long blonde hair? She's just Anna Kornikova, who looks fantastic, and she's been yeah. renowned for that. She's not renowned for her tennis playing because she's crap. I mean, she's quite tall. She's got long blonde hair. She's got. Exactly. What's long blonde hair? That's the only thing that's long in the world. Blonde, blonde hair. That's it. That's it. Slim. Maybe she's big a nice busted. Girl. Yeah, maybe. Because she's a, a lot girl. of men do like girls with. Now we work that out. Well, let's hair. get into that then. What does that mean? I know. If yeah, I fancy don't, someone, don't I fancy someone for. Don't you? Don't knock her for, for that. For... I, 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 how can you fancy knocking someone her. because they've got long blonde hair? If anything, Paul, we're knocking men. Yes. You like that? I'm not knocking her at all. But why knock men who like that? Everyone's got their. Who, right, I'm not knocking. Who just, just like long no, blonde hair? I said to you, if you shaved her hair off, would you like her? And you went probably not. So and you're you hinging a lot no, on her no, hair. No, 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 probably not because I don't go for girls with short hair. Not because. So she dyed she her hair black. No, but then you said about she. Oh, I probably might still fancy her. I don't know because I haven't seen her. But don't try and get me into a trap because it won't work. Yeah, but no yeah. hair. It's... So how much has hair got to do with fancy someone for you? I'm just talking I about think for you. It's important for. Her. I think hair makes a big difference on okay, a lot cool. of people. Okay, that's cool. No, that's fine. I mean, when I see there. someone. I, I see do. Anna's face and this hair on top, and I think. Amma's hair suits her face, but I see Amma's face. I think Amma has a beautiful hair face. Makes, hair, why, I why, do when someone wants to change? Agree. Why, when someone wants to change, why do they go down to the hairdressers? Because it's something that you can change to you make yourself change. look physically different. I, my opinion is, I don't think that matters. Fair someone's play. face and is my opinion their is, is, is don't knock me Fine. for fancy Anna Kornikova because she's my type you. of girl. And it I takes just all wondered, kinds in this world. I was just asking you. But it's an interesting conversation. If you let me finish, I was just asking you yeah. why the hair thing. I'm fine. Twelve thirty-four p.m. Big Brother has set the housemates their weekly task. They must decide how much of their shopping budget of forty-nine pounds to gamble on passing the task. Here we go. Teach an old dog new tricks. Housemates, this week's task is to teach an old dog new tricks. Big Brother will introduce a canine into the house Very for well. four hours a day a over the next <laughs> four robot. days. Oh, it's those little silver... Ro oh, there's a robot, robot dog. Yeah, it's a robot dog. Doesn't say, though. All housemates will be expected to treat the animal with the utmost care. Any behaviour toward the dog that can be construed as cruel, mean or disrespectful will result in failure it's of the task. Dog. 
and removal of the dog no. from the house. It's not a real dog. No. It's not a realistic Not with them chickens. You get a dog for four hours a day, you've got to teach it tricks. How many? Eight tricks? You will draw four of the tricks at random. So you're going to give eight obedience tests. Yeah. And you get four at random. Mm? You're going to have to take in turns to train him. But then that's only like if, it, if an hour each. Not even. Not even. It's not impossible. You can train them, but normally you take. You need to train them over a lot, a few weeks. They training, training, yeah. They're like. They take time to train well, look, like look, a real as one. Bobble used to say, no task we get is impossible. It yeah. is possible. If yeah. we put the work in, if we do the four hours, it's possible. Yeah. I personally am quite optimistic. Yeah. I'm willing to build a min minimum of 40%. I'll go 50. Right, I'll go 50. 50. 50. I'm with you 50. I'll go 50. Yeah. And 52. Big Brother has given the group a dog to train for this week's task. The dog will only be in the house for four hours per day. It's just a way. No, this is Big Brother. Can someone please come to the dining room? Josh, get the dog. No, that's to let it know. It's going to come galloping out. It's all galloping. It's going to be huge. I'll do if it does and I scream. I'll try not to scream. No, don't scream. You're really scary. It's going to be one of these. Honestly, you're really scary. Where is it? Hello, Josh. Hello there. Please take the note from the chair and take the dog out to the rest of the housemates okay. immediately. Thank you. Some Don't pick glitter. it up. It's a poodle. It's a poodle. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. It's not that nice. Oh, it's stunning. Has he gone in? Paddy. 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 Hello. Oh, oh, oh. oh, no. The business in full. We should be running around after him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh it's it's like snobby, isn't it? Oh, it's gorgeous. He's a demon. He's having a good look at him. He's fat. Look, he's sussing them chickens. The chicken. Yeah, he's sussing them. Yeah, that's the food. That's your chickens. Snuffling. Come on, get those chickens. Get them, get revenge. He's like a little snuffle. Oh, oh, he's gorgeous. He's trained. It's so raw hot, so hot. He's a demon. Oh, he doesn't like the camera. <laughs> Go away. Oh, he's alright. Go away. He doesn't like you. He's fine. He's just fine. He's fine. Yeah, he are. He's not like camera. He's growling at the camera. Paddy. You tell him, Paddy. Paddy, come on. Paddy, come on. 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 Did yeah. you last night like, just that. show the whole thing of this program that we know nothing? nothing. We, we know do. nothing. Exactly. We know jack yeah. shit. It's true. Yeah. It's true. Do you know what I mean? Two twelve p.m. Paddy is only allowed to be in the Big Brother house for four hours a day. <clears throat> You're a good boy. You're having a good time. Do you know where your water is? What are you looking at, eh? I'm sorry I shouted at you before. It's not a problem. It's not you, I'm just a bit tetchy today. You're a bit tetchy today. It doesn't matter, it's not a problem. It's funny, I've realised it's Saturday, because it was last Saturday as well. It's all right, don't worry, it's not a problem. I think for me it's when someone leaves the house. But you were snappy, and I can understand what I was like. No, well that's why I'm saying sorry. It's not a problem. I realised it was last Saturday as well. I didn't know whether it was because you were tetchy or... No, I am. Um, there was obviously so a soft sorry. spot there for some no, reason. No, I'm, I'm, I'm tired and tetchy. I'm about to start no, my theory. Don't be stupid. So I've kind it's of got fine. female no things problem. compounded it's with no people leaving, so I'm, not I'm sorry. I have to get out on you. 2.40pm. The housemates have been given tips on techniques for dog training. They've been provided with a clicker and pieces of chicken Paddy? with which to reward the dog. Why you say come, Emma? Oh, Good boy, Patty. Good boy. Tickle him under the chin. Good boy. Next, wait until you're able to touch the dog on his mouth, as you will need to do this when retrieving an object. I must say, he learns extremely quickly, uh -huh. doesn't he? Yeah, he knows he's got the food, actually. So right, when eh? I brought him out with food, he'll follow you until you've got none. So he probably thinks you've got the food at the moment. Well, or, or because... We'd just done the trick yeah. one, to, you know, two seconds earlier, yeah, and he'd mind. heard and he'd heard this the time before. I didn't do, do it then. I wonder if he mate. does come to us hungry though. I mean, like really hungry. Eh? Or maybe hey, he's just a greedy you. dog. Let me stroke you. You can have your tum tums. Oh, he's so cute. 
I just love being the communication that you have with them, and it's and it's living, and it's real, it's intelligent, and it responds, and it's about, and its name isn't Brian, Dean, Helen, uh -huh. Elizabeth, and it, Emma, and do you know what's even better? Josh, it can't speak. Yay! <laughs> The housemates are permitted to spend no longer than 10 minutes per hour on training Paddy. The rest of the time, they must give him love and attention in order to gain his trust. He's wanting to be loved. Now that he's used to it all. I'm not happy. Because his daddy's not here, is he? so cute. He's going to sleep in a minute. Yeah, he's too stretching now. I just want to go. I thought Elizabeth was going to go through Paul this morning. I know. That's another snap. I don't care what she says. I know she didn't snap. really snap, but she did. No, she did. She did. And I was like, I know yeah, what you're I saying. Know whatever, but it's not I my just... opinion. Whatever. I was like, oh, she's going to go. And I was like, it's going to kick off, and I don't want to be here. She got really snappy, didn't she? Mm. Why did she get like that? I don't know. Yeah, I just, just, well, I know. I think it is just the bubble it, and everything. And, and it's, yeah. you know, some people. I know. Connect differently. I know. And they do, don't they? Yeah. And I do think Paul doesn't connect as well with people in there. Yeah. And yeah. that's just it. the way he is, and that's the way we are. And Dean, I feel sorry for him. Well, he's, he's he's been voted in three times running, and it could happen again, and he could end up winning the show. You might want to feel sorry for everyone else. True, actually. You see what I mean? Yeah. I mean, if he goes on again, yeah. He just doesn't connect. That's the actual good way of putting it. Yeah, but that's not his fault or anyone. No. It's just that's just, just the way. Life. It is. Yeah, it's just the way it is. Four or two p.m. Amma has cooked a late lunch of spaghetti carbonara for the group. Come on, Brian. Ah, oh, Brian's just. <laughs> This dog is going to decide whether we start or celebrate. He is, if he gets us 50% more food. He's amazing! He is amazing. Oh, you are friendly with me, aren't you? He's trying, he's trying to, he's, no, he's trying to hunt me, he's trying to shake me. Oh, that's an evil... We know how you feel. Oh, yum. Love and jelly. Yum, yum, oh, yum. Bacon. Bacon. Oh, bacon, spinach. Stick it up, you are. Oh, no, just say that. No. I know, it's all very good. But we've got all the hard ones to do yet, like roll over, play Spinning dead, around. spin. Spinning mm -hmm. around. What was that? No. I'm starving, actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm just Good not too long. <laughs> <laughs> Paddy, come. Good boy. Paddy, sit. Good boy. Paddy, lie down. Good boy. Paddy, roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Come on, Paddy. Good boy. Good, Good boy. boy. Keep going. Good boy. Yeah. Good, Good boy. boy. Good boy. Good boy. Old um, Elizabeth this morning while snapped to her, didn't she? She apologised. She pulled, she pulled me aside earlier she and apologised to me. Did. Yeah, because I said nothing, I didn't say anything wrong, did I? No. I didn't say a single thing wrong. You know, there's certain people that want to bubble to go, and there's certain people that want to do stay in. I Helen. know certain people are just... Look at my face. Really... No, look at me. I don't give a fuck. This is me after this. Helen, I don't give a fuck. I really don't give a shit. It couldn't bother me in the slightest. Standing there bother you. I'm not going to let it get to me. Justice will be done at the end of the day. That's good. Fun is in the dog is so gay. No, so no, 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 yeah. The food is like so is. He's bi. He looks <gasps> he's bisexual. He looks like a gay dog. He looks like a gay dog. He looks very campy while he moves his tail. Are there gay dogs? No. <laughs> he seems a little bit excited. Oh my god. He seems a little bit excited, doesn't he? Yeah, he's nibbling me, isn't he? He's a guy. Uh, hey. He wants hey. a shaggy fat hey. thing. 6.01pm. Josh has gone to sleep. Elizabeth and Emma are in the den. 
to Elizabeth and Anna are in the shack. Get I a badass girl. Because I was out there the putting what? up my under the shack. Doing what? <laughs> having a lesbian <laughs> encounter. It's really, really, really tight. Mm. And that's why I'm more on edge. And also, I feel quite responsible for this task. Why? Because, well, it seems... It seems like Dean's almost thrown down the gauntlet. Do you know what I mean? I think for once he's taken a step back and said, well, I don't know fuck all about dogs. You know a bit more than me. But that's so what I mean, responsibility issue. But then that's three people, really. Yeah, I know. Because that's Josh what does know, I do know. And we all said as And well. you do know. The, I think the, the biggest problem that's going to be with this particular task is three, three masters sailing one ship. But, I mean, it was a bit like the world record. Certain people a better other did thing. more, but did more. Some people, you know, you get the task and then they're excited for five minutes, five seconds, lose interest rapidly and go back and do what they were doing. Yeah. And then there's a few people, other people, who carry on and do it. 6.52 p.m. The group discussed I, I mean, the previous I night's eviction. Something to do because I actually thought, sorry, Paul, but yesterday I honestly thought that Bubble would stay. Oh, so did I. I told No, no, yeah. hang, hang on. It. Hang on. Be very careful what you say. Not personality. Be, no, no, I wasn't going to... Yeah, yeah, no, be careful. Oh, yeah, no, no, so I, I was gonna that. say, I was gonna say, I honestly thought Bubble would stay. Purely and simple, Bubble, li Londoner, man of the people. I don't agree with that. I think I, he was. I think he was a person who stood out by a mile. Yeah. The reason and I say man funny. of the people, I'm not saying that everybody in England or everybody in Britain is like him, but he is. Easy to a relate fairly, to. Yeah, he is a would, fairly yeah. typical. You know, London lad. East End London lads. Football just... supporting. Yeah. It, it, it does go to show, and I also think that that was the only reason. That was the only reason why I thought Bubble was going to stay and I was going to go out. Only one reason, and that was humour. Nothing else. Absolutely nothing else. Because I don't think Bubble had anything over me apart from humour. In this I don't house. think that anybody in here, if we're being completely... No, I'm I, just saying, I, 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 I've, obviously I've I'm done thinking, something. It's a, very, it's a very arrogant attitude of your typical Londoner mm. to think of the whole of Britain but, in terms of London. Yeah, the whole, the whole of you Britain don't I mean? actually like London. The whole like of London. Britain aren't, like... The whole bubble, of Britain don't you know actually I mean? like London. But, so, and just by Bubble being a real cockney, I'll tell you what, he might have had the whole of London back in him. But, but there aren't a lot of people in this country who yeah, really like Londoners. That's but then very that's true. What, that's what I'm saying. Wants to you I speak. Didn't yeah. last do night that. just show the whole thing of this program that we know nothing. nothing. We, we know do. nothing. Exactly. We know jack yeah. shit true. in here. It's true. Do you know what I mean? But we don't. We don't know anything. We don't know nothing. Up until recently, Amma has been the quietest member of the group. Aside from her huge argument with Stuart, She's rarely a vocal presence in group events. But although a woman of few words, Amma's not a passive member of the group. Many of her attitudes and feelings towards other housemates are forcefully expressed through silent, non-verbal behaviours. She builds intimate conversations with her eye contact. And if I'm being completely honest, although it is a lot quieter in a way, a lot more sedate in here, yeah. since Lorinda's left, it yeah, feels a little yeah. easier. Yeah. She knows when to look to draw others in. She has built alliances with her fleeting patterns of eye gaze. Now things are changing, and here we see Amma moving beyond the silent language, and also committing herself verbally about Bubbles' eviction. This is more than just a disagreement between Amma and Paul. It's both an argument and a chance to view Amma's full capabilities. Firstly, Amma repeatedly anticipates what Paul is going to say, and overlaps her talk with his as he begins to tail off. I think he was a person who stood out by a mile, yeah? The reason and I say man funny. of the people, I'm not saying that everybody in England or everybody in Britain is like him, but he is... She gains control man, of the floor. Yeah. Is, in contrast, I mean, I Paul's actually, attempts actually, are much clumsier. He cuts into the middle of the conversation. No, no, yeah. hang, thought, hang on, be very careful what you say, not personality. No, this is much like less effective because Amma can defend well, by say, continuing to say, talk. I honestly thought Bubble would stay. P purely and simple, Bubble, li Londoner, man of the people. The degree to which Amma is in control becomes apparent when Brian makes a number of his own points. He is Easy to a relate fairly, to. yeah, he is a would, fairly yeah. typical, 
you know, London lad. East End London lad. Football just, supporting. Yeah. He just is. Emma subsumes him into her turn without losing control. And even when Paul does get the floor and expresses a view that she disagrees with, Emma has one more non verbal trick at her disposal. Only one reason, and that was humour. Nothing else. Absolutely nothing else. Her expression registers her rejection of his point and is made as he delivers the thrust of his argument. It's a risky strategy, unless she's confident of influencing the whole group. But it's a very effective strategy because she instantly communicates her reaction I think he was, before I think they have time to evaluate Paul's comments. Amma has always shown awareness and great skill in the silent language of the body. As her confidence in her alliances and her position in the house increases, she's increasingly bringing her verbal skills into play and she's doubly effective. 14.10, game point. Yeah. 9.43 p.m. The group play a game of volleyball in the garden. Big Brother calls Helen to the diary room. Hello, Big Brother. Hello, Helen. How are you today? Paddy's gorgeous. I love Paddy. He's like a little... He's like a little... snowball. He, he was really nice. He definitely broke up the day. I don't like the weekends in the Big Brother house because it makes you think more, I think, you know? A few people think um, the wrong person went yesterday. Day, you know, and I think um, a, few, a few people were a little bit tense this morning. Yes, here we go, love four. I think it's starting to irritate people a little bit. Get, yeah, I'm a bit, you know, mm. but I think good on him. It does make me laugh. I would think that if I was being nominated, I mean, I was nominated in the first week of state, and I thought, oh, well, you know, tried to get rid of him, but you couldn't, blah, blah, blah. But def I don't know that definitely Paul feels that way, you know, they, they try to get rid of him, but it just don't seem to work. I know he finds it funny, and I find it quite funny. Um, but um, I think it's starting to irritate people. But I do feel sorry for Paul being up for nomination three times in a row. You know what I mean? It does. It must be hard on him. Scary. You could hold a tune. But I could have I tried. I mean, if I was taught. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, you ruin it! We'll see, Dean! Oh, close your eyes and you think it's a woman. That's what they all said. No, you don't. Oh. oh. I thought you didn't want to up too much room there, you are. I've seen all the songs. Thank you. Guys, am I hearing my voice? Did you hear that? Yeah. Yeah. Who was the first man on the moon? That's an easy one. Oh, God. Damn. Day 38, 11.09 a.m. Brian and Dean are still in bed. Josh, Paul, Elizabeth and Paddy are in the garden. Today the group must write their weekly shopping list. They have £61.60 to spend. Um, We're going to get plenty of cider this week, aren't we? I think so. For Friday and... Mayonnaise. Do you want, do you want mayonnaise? Um... I'm not that bothered to be honest. Yeah. See, see, the thing is, uh, well, it's just the thing. Things yeah. like mayonnaise now are considered yeah. luxuries. Yeah. People will only eat it if it's here. If not, they're not that mm. fast. Yeah, I wouldn't bother with that. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, yeah. I think the same. Mince meat. Yeah. Uh, uh, tuna. 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 I'm going to fight. I think we're going to. 
Yeah. But it's bread flour, it's bread, is it? Yeah, yeah, most of it, yeah. And you want papers, do you? Um, whose water is that? Mine. Do we need right. um, cake, paper? Can I have a look? Did you get any mayonnaise? No, we didn't. OK. Could we get some? OK, how much is that so I, far? I don't want it, but I'm sorry, that's what I'm saying. How much is that so far? I think, so, I think things like mayonnaise and stuff are like luxuries that we can live without. If it's just you to have the mayonnaise, I think we'd have to knock on the head. Well, I don't think it is just me. Is it? No, because no. I wasn't the only person to ask for it. Well, who else is it? There's one, two, there's five of us here. I don't know. I think, I think there was um, Brian as well. <laughs> It's just and around. Helen. Do you we want it, Helen? We've got much money and we've run out. If there's not enough, that's no, what I'm saying. No, I don't if want it. Too bad. Well, so much money. Money. Said. Fine. Oh, did we get some lemons? 11.28 a.m. The housemates practice their weekly task to teach an old dog eight new tricks. On Wednesday, they will be tested on four of them, chosen at random. Why don't you try and do it without... Get him to lie down with no food. OK, don't look. Right. I think you should go lie down. Lie down, Paddy. Good boy. Click. Sorry. Try and do the roll over then. OK, now. Roll over, Paddy. Roll over. He knows there's nothing there. Roll over, Paddy. No, he knows there's nothing But it Keep says trying. in the thing... Cause... It says in the thing, when they understand... The word. They've got to put it in click, and he doesn't get any food until he does it's it. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Okay. yeah. Paddy. Mm. Can I have a cup? Mm -hmm. Come on, come here. Sit down. Good boy. Lie down. Lie down. Good boy. Paddy, roll over. Roll over. Roll over. Good boy! Good boy, you did it, didn't you? Here. It's warm out there. Is it? Yeah, it really is hot. Has Helen got lotion on and stuff like that? No, I'm gonna... I think Helen's fallen asleep. I'll wake her up. Cos it is really hot. Mm. It's weird, cos as time, as time goes on as well, and more and more people go, it's just gonna feel weirder and weirder, isn't it? Yeah. Is it, I, Dean, I, it's like Dean was saying, it's like you've, you've built a tower and you've got lots of different coloured blocks, you know, like orange, red ones and green ones, and then someone leaves in an orange one, all the orange bits are taken out. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! <laughs> you completely and utterly <laughs> freaked me, then. I'm dizzy. Why? What do you mean? Dizzy and sick. I think that might be sun, too much sun. Right. 2 48 pm. Brian and Dean discuss general knowledge in the garden. Ask them something we discussed. Who was the first man on the moon? That's an easy one. Oh, God. Dean. I get this. I know we'd know here. What year, Josh? Um, what month and what year? It was. Nine. 69. 69 it was. What, what month? It was... I was born in 69, were you? No. Earlier or late? Earlier. That's Eve, I wasn't even born. Have you got no remote interest in, of that in your brain? I've never done history. You, you don't have to have done but it. No, so no one has to come and tell you it. Someone went to the moon and I, stood I, on the moon. True, I should have known that, but I'm just... I mean, if you met the guy, right, say you met the guy... I never knew who he was. ..and he said, I stood on the moon, wouldn't you be impressed? But, Dean... Oh. No? Dean, there's a lot of people from, like, my generation... I like, don't oh. mind like yours is that much different. You don't know that, but... That, it's, but then it, that's because it's close to... No, you have to know Neil No, it's not closer so. to me. That's not why I know it. I know it because it's massively important to humankind. 3.34 p.m. Paddy has left for the deer. The housemates gather in the garden for a game of volleyball. I was aiming at you. Oh, no, Come on, get ready together. for it, boys. There's a big, huge gap by there, boys. Yours, yours. <laughs> no, go! Oh. Six, love. I'm going to put trainers on, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Get set. 
Oh, she was over it. Oh, I don't know. It was over. It was over. Mm, I'm not about to get him tonight for that one. You should still say no evil. She could have tapped that one out. Oh, yeah. You should still say no slamming because it could hurt. That was a slammer, I'm a. We'll get him tonight, don't worry about it. Huh? We'll get him tonight, don't worry about it. Over the past few weeks in the Big Brother house, the housemates have become increasingly childlike. This is a likely but not inevitable consequence of their environment. They have lost their normal routines, they have everything provided for them, and they have very little to do. Beyond that, they are also subject to a clear set of rules imposed on them by Big Brother. Hey, Big Brother. When they break them, they call to the diary room with all its Hello. echoes of a head yeah. teacher's study. Helen, have you any idea why you've been called into the diary room? No. It's hardly surprising the particular period of childhood they have reverted to is primary school. Children in a school environment will either comply with or challenge authority, and in the Big Brother house, they divide along the same lines. Okay. Helen is utterly compliant in the diary room. Is that clear? Yes, it is clear. Sorry, Big Brother. Brian is also a good boy in class. Big Brother earlier asked today about putting chlorine in the hot tub. Has this been done? Oh, I know I got because Paul was looking after it. I got Paul. Okay, I got said to the guys we had to actually reread the um, instructions. When Bubble is waiting to hear whether he must take down the letters above his bed, Brian is quick to anticipate what the ruling will be. You had an old collage of message washed across. I'm going to ask the permission. I, I told them what it was, but they didn't get the wrong idea. And what's this issue? No, so let it go. He's an upholder of rules and he's fearful of the consequences of breaking them. At the other end of the playground are the kids who rebel against authority. <laughs> Dean always knew that he was challenging Big Brother when he made a banana skin cigarette. As he waits to hear whether it is against the rules or not, his body language is defiant and he doesn't try to reason as an adult would. The cigarette you're about to smoke has health implications. We can't condone that you smoke it. OK. <laughs> is that it? Elizabeth also challenges Big Brother's authority. She is frequently critical. Hello, you're Carrots and Mankey. And for about the third or fourth week, we would like new ones because they're very, very bendy and brown. I don't think much of the test, Master. Master. I don't think much of this test. It's not a good one. It's a shite test. The division between the good kids and the rebellious kids becomes apparent during the hypnotism trick. Again, as in the playground, there's usually an in-crowd and an out-crowd. And the in-crowd is led by the cool kids, the rebellious ones. You will be very, very nice to Brian. Elizabeth is pretending to have the power to hypnotise, and some of the group are in on the secret. Yeah, you're very nice to Brian, aren't you? I don't want to get back. This is no different to playground bullying. The in crowd are playing a trick at the expense of Paul, Helen and Brian for their own amusement. But there's one kid in the playground who can play for either team. The housemates are roughly split down the middle, but the cool kids have just lost bubble. Josh's decision to join either gang permanently could well swing the balance of power. Get up, chill, well, Could all housemates stop what they're doing and go to the boys' bedroom? Did you see it? Man, <laughs> he's been living in the house longer than he should have. Lost as a child and raised by Dopey the Dwarf. <laughs> Yeah. So 4.51 p.m. Big Brother has set the group a challenge to produce a soap opera based on their time in the house. The housemates have to play each other. Silence! You're going to need wigs. we thinking props. So we've got to find out who's playing who first and establish what props they need to play that person. If I was playing Amma, I'd need a black wig, a wig, you've got dressing, because that's really all you'd need. And lots yeah. of tinfoil. And lots of tinfoil, right? You've got to establish who's playing who. Uh -huh. You don't have to think about this, aren't we? Because there's a lot. It's only five minutes, but if you you do a scene and you're a certain person in a scene, you've you got to go out of the room, get changed, come back in and be... Yes, I think it's got to be hat and wig change sort of thing. OK, there's 12 characters. Five minutes. There's seven yeah. people here. Eight, nine, ten, twelve. 11, twelve. Yeah, yeah Paddy. Paddy. Oh. So there's, we're missing five people. So five people here. I'm two of them. I'm two of them. Bubble. I'm You're Bubble and Rinda. OK, that's three. So who's going to play Penny? Helen's playing Penny. OK. It's four. Who else has gone? I'll play Paddy. And Josh can play Paddy. I'll play Helen. 
OK, what about the people here? Who's going to play Well, initially, then, if I'm going to have this argument with Josh, I'm going to play Josh. Hi, Josh. Play She's okay. Elizabeth. I'm Emma. No, no Josh. Yeah. You're playing Paddy. You need to look like a dog. Myself. Yeah, I, That's easy. You just got up really I early. I think Dougal <laughs> outfit. 5.27pm. Brian and Dean discuss the possibility of appearing as superhero housemates in their soap opera task. So you just man change size after eating all those peas. Something strange is happening to him. You tears! Chick Pea Man! Roams the metropolis, lost as a child and raised by chickpeas, fighting evil wherever he finds it. And he's found it in Bo. Gingivitis Man! Lost as a child and raised by a red gum disease. Gingivitis man breathes on his victims, rendering them senseless. <laughs> <laughs> and they melt, they melt. As and they... we have arrogance man. <laughs> <laughs> Lost the child and raised by arrogant fuckwits. <laughs> How does he upset people by being arrogant <laughs> to them? But you could play both arrogant man as well. Then, and the then, live and reef strikes again with Man, <laughs> he's been living in the house longer than he should have. Lost as a child and raised by Dolphy the Dwarf. He is man. Seven or one p.m. The housemates are cleaning the kitchen. Dean and Elizabeth are in the garden. The people who make this worthwhile for me weren't here. Then, I'd, then it's like, what's the point? There wouldn't be any point for me. I mean, even Brian, you know, you, you, you can have a laugh with him and everything, but when it comes to... Anything else? I, you know, I can't Gel function at that any, level yeah. for very long. I can't function yeah. at that level for very long. I yeah. can for a little bit, and then I'm yeah, like... another laugh, and then you've got to For God's have... sake, you don't know who's the name of the first man on the moon. Yeah. To be honest, you know, for, to talk about Posh and Bex, for me, it's climbing down. Mm. There's no other way it can be. Mm. To talk about Jennifer Lopez or to sing songs from the charts is climbing down. And I don't care if anyone thinks I'm elitist for that. That's fine. Mm. I don't want to talk about... Exactly. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I, Destiny's Child. And, yeah, it's I don't fine. want to. It's not working for me. It's beneath me. But I also find sometimes with the girls, the girls are quite... Well, they're not girly girls. It's probably because I'm not a girly girl. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So I can't sit down and talk about hair and makeup and things like that. And I, I just find myself thinking. <sighs> I need some stimulus. I need something for my brain. You need it's not, what? I need some, some stimulus. It's not the kind yeah, of thing no, I can I make need... up myself. Yeah. I need. That's what I mean. Like, you can only talk about sparkle and bloody posh and becks and pop music and. So long. Then it loses its appeal because it's wafer thin. No, do you want to know like the funny thing, though? The you real funny thing. You probably see me as younger than you. Yeah, oh, yeah, I do see you as younger than me. But oh. I can relate to that, because I think sometimes you think that you're older than me, the way you speak to me. I do do yeah, that to you sometimes, but do you know what's really, really funny? Do you know what's really, really funny? Go on. Is that I couldn't possibly talk to you the way I would talk to you. Not in here. Why not? Because you do talk down to me sometimes, and it is quite oh. amusing. Do but I, I really? Oh, no, yeah, I step back from it, because I think it's funny. Honestly, you really should stop me because that's something yeah, but I you can't do, no, stand. But babe, but it's not just me. It no, but me. it's not just me. It's not just me. It is everyone. I don't I talk down to you. No, no, not you. Do You're I? saying when I Emma talk, talk down to no, no, everyone. No, no, no. When Emma talk, you talk to people. Sometimes you do talk like you're talking down to them. I could never have a conversation with you in here. Because my personality, someone like you, I would actually tear to pieces. Why don't you, though? No, because it's not appropriate. Oh, my God, in here. I, No, no, that's what I'm more. saying. My personality is actually no, very, very no. strong. Mm. And because it's so strong, I oh deal with God. different people in different ways. I, because I it's don't not, think it's I'm not ever right. so horrible or whatever to you to the point where you'd need to shred me to pieces. I don't think I ever say anything to you that would make you want to upset me. And I don't think you're the kind of person no, who would upset me for no, no reason. That's Sweet. why I think by being saying. yourself. It's like I wouldn't. Oh, no. well, I'm having a bit of a ding donkey. Yeah. Hello. Mm, bit what? of a ding donkey, 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 donkey. What about? I'm not interested. I'm just talking. But I, I would. Know, but but then... I would shred you to bits. But you don't know that either. 
Oh. Right? But then you can shred them, whatever. But you see, you're talking as if you know how I'll react. I've allowed you to do everything you've done in Yes, years. but I've allowed if you, you listen to what I'm saying, I'm saying that I react to you the way you treat see, me. And, I, and I'm, I'm only going to continue here, to react to that way, I? am the person I? in control in this house. Of whom? My, what happens to me in here, I'm Absolutely totally in control. Of what you are in control of what happens to and you. And also you... in control of us. No. Oh, yeah. No way. Why so? 9.16pm. Like Dean is called to the diary room. In this world, my stomach's mm. killing me. Gonna pull that? We've all been going through what, we've, what has been coined as the wall at the moment, which is like... Um, the hard part of the race. It feels like I'm not I'm not getting enough mental stimulation in here. Is anybody alive out there? It was kind of summed up getting that getting the task getting the, the task about soap operas, and I just thought um, it's not really me. It's not very me being in here a lot of the time, and it seems like I'm kind of having to downshift intellectually. It's kind of okay to do that for a while, but after after a certain amount of time of doing that, it uh, it gets difficult. I think now Bubbles gone. Brian's not. I don't think he's as happy. Um, and it's just a big shift of dynamic, and I think it'll take some getting used to. And even though I can't vocalise what he what it is that he did bring to the house, I think the fact that he's gone is a negative thing as far as I'm concerned, and as far as at least a couple of other people are concerned. And it hasn't been good, it has not been a good weekend. 10.11pm. After dinner, Josh and Brian wash up. What are you doing? I don't want that yet. Thank you. It's been an attitude like that. No wonder I was left in the kitchen doing it by yourself, Josh. <laughs> I think if I get joysticks in, oh, if I could go back, the things I'd bring oh, no. in. Chocolate, joysticks. I've got you'd lots eat. of them. So we should just get more toiletries. You'd have eaten all your chocolate by now. I, I was eating all the first day. Mm. Um, yeah, probably. You ate nearly all of these on the first day. Those kids gave two bars to me. Um, I don't think what I'd have bought them. How to change I'd have smuggled stuff. some things in. What, yeah, like, like I would have brought my hair. No, because that would be too obvious. I don't mean, yeah, I mean, how would you ever get to smoke it? But, um... Funnily enough, no. Some, some scotch, some Jameson's rather. Definitely. I'd have got it in here, easily. In a bottle of wine. There's no way they're going to uncork a bottle of wine. And they're not ripping that off to see if it's... And there are additional problems as well, is that people won't understand why you're mixing uh, wine with coke. A missile has been thrown into the garden. You know, I thought, well, could all housemates stop what they're doing and go to the boys' bedroom? Did you see it? And remain there until yeah. further notice. And these are we acting, aren't you? Yeah, it's well, there. Why? I know you're going to say you. Oh, I didn't see that. There's definitely writing on that one. Yeah, totally. So Another ball. Yeah. What a stink! Should have brought those drastic. It's a yellow one with black. Oh, Some guys are disgusting. really sick, but all they've they got to do is throw balls over our Someone's trying to tell really us something, guys. Well, someone stop trying to tell us something. <gasps> Did you see Why it, is somebody mm. saying, guess so-and-so out, they've said so-and-so so about so-and-so? Whatever. It might not be anything like that. It might just be... We, we love Brian. Yeah, something like that. We've got camp adventures aplenty coming up. Priscilla is Queen of the Desert next on 4. And you wouldn't believe it, but it's nomination time again for the housemates. Catch it tomorrow, Big Brothers, at 10. And you can buy a Big Brother voucher for the latest gossip, ringtones and icons sent direct to your mobile. Vouchers priced at 4 dollars are available in the shops now.